Hello, uh, this video will discuss on the intersection control design using Webster's method. First, we define what is traffic signal control system. Traffic signal includes all mechanical and electrical control devices used to control, direct or warn drivers or pedestrians. A traffic signal system is a signaling device positioned at a road intersection, pedestrian crossing or other location. Its purpose is to indicate using colors such as red, amber and green the correct moment to stop, drive, ride or walk using a universal color code and a precise sequence for those who are color blind. There are various types of traffic signal, fixed, uh, fixed time control traffic signal system, vehicle actuated traffic signal system, link coordinated traffic signal system which consists of simultaneous system, single alternate system, double alternate system or a flexible system. And the next uh, type is the area traffic signal system. What is the objective and function of a traffic signal system? The first is to provide right of way to vehicles on each approach, therefore increasing the tra traffic handling performance of the junction. Second is to provide efficient traffic movement and traffic saf uh, safety, while the third is to reduce all traffic conflict points such as traffic delays. On the last point on re reduction of conflict points, what is a conflict point? Conflict points at a junction are the points at which there are possibilities of two or more vehicles that will collide if vehicles from opposing directions are allowed to move simultaneously. This is shown in the diagram of the slide. What are the advantages of traffic signal? First is to provide for the progressive flow of a platoon of traffic along a given route. Second is to interrupt heavy traffic at intervals to allow pedestrians and cross street traffic that is minor traffic or minor road to cross or to enter the main street flow. The third one, the advantage is to increase the traffic handling ability of a junction. And last is the reduction of the number of conflict points that is to reduce the frequency of occurrence of certain types of accident. What about the disadvantages of traffic signals? Uh, the following uh, results from improper design or unwarranted signal installations. First is the excessive delay for motorists and pedestrians, particularly during off-speak periods. Second is advantage of traffic signal is the increase in accident frequency, for example, rear-end collisions when it, there is sudden stoppages of vehicles moving. And the third is the disregard of signals indication, particularly when there is a no traffic around during off-peak hours. Okay, this figure shows the general criteria for selecting the type of junction based on a total two-way traffic on major road and the highest volume on the minor road in vehicles per hour. There are four types of junction shown, stop control, traffic signal, interchange and roundabout. We can see that traffic signal is suitable for total vehicles of more than one thousand vehicles per hour to about 5,500 vehicles per hour. Above 5,000 vehicles per hour, we have to consider the use of interchanges instead of traffic signal because the number of vehicles are very high. Not also uh, the use of roundabout, it can be used for all uh, from up to 5,000 vehicles per hour, which is almost similar to traffic signals. Where conditions permit, 
uh, roundabout also provide an effective way to control the tra traffic. We now go into the terminologies and definitions used in traffic signal control. The signal aspect or indication are the colors used in the traffic signal lights. Uh, we use red to indicate stop, amber to indicate uh, uh, to tell the drivers approaching the stop line must slow, uh, that they must slow down and ready to stop as the right of way is about to end. And the drivers who have already crossed the stop line must proceed and clear the junction quickly. Uh, lastly, green or green arrow. For green, drivers have the right of way. For green arrow, the drivers have to proceed to follow the indicated direction. Second terminology is a cycle time. What is cycle time? It is a period for a complete sequence of signal indications or expert. That is green followed with amber and then followed with the red period. So the total uh, uh, a cycle time covers the green, amber and red period. The third term is traffic phases. Traffic phases is the portion of a signal cycle time allocated to any signal single combination of one or more traffic movements simultaneously receiving the right of way during one or more intervals. And phase sequence is a predetermined order in which the phases of a cycle occur. This slide shows the traffic phases uh, for this junction there are three phases and the timing diagram for the three phases is shown below the uh, junction diagram you can see that for phase one there is through traffic and the left turn for phase two is for the traffic on the opposite dire direction and the right turn whereas for phase three from the minor road the left and right turns from the minor road. The all rate period or capital R is defined as the part or parts of the signal cycle time during which the signal indications do not change. This short period of time is to ensure all vehicles or pedestrians have cleared the junction before the next traffic phase is given the right of way. The integrating period or capital I is a period of time from the end of the green indication of a phase to the beginning of a green indication for the next phase. I is given as amber plus all red period and is shown uh, the formula is shown in the slide. We now consider uh, we we now will discuss the elements to consider in the design of a traffic signal control system. First, for the selection of traffic phases, a minimum number of phases for any junction is two. But it is important to consider the need to provide separate phases for right turning vehicles based on the following criteria. Traffic volumes, traffic delays, accident records and geometry. These are the guidelines for the provision of separate right turning phases. First is the traffic volume. The traffic volume, product of right turning traffic volume and true volume of the conflicting direction must be more or equal to 50,000. Or total right turning traffic must be more or equal to 100 vehicles per hour during peak hour. Or the third one is number of right turning vehicle left in the queue must be more or equal to two vehicles per cycle at the end of the green period. The second guideline is on traffic delay. The average delay to the right turning vehicles must be more or equal to 35 seconds per vehicle. But the third guideline is on accidents involving right turning vehicles. Four or more accidents for, per year 
or six or more accidents for a period of two years on one particular approach or six or more accidents per year or ten or more accidents for a period of two years on both opposing approaches. The second element to, co to be considered is the saturation flow or capital S. It is the maximum flow of vehicles passing the stop line during the green period. This is shown in the diagram of the slide. The determination of the saturation flow for the given movement is given by the uh, is given in this slide. The, uh, for example, if the width of the lane for the movement is more more than or equal to 5.5 meters, then the saturation flow is determined by the formula S equals to 5 to 5 multiplied by W, which is the width of the lane for the movement. However, if the width is less than 5.5 meters, then the table as shown in the slide is used. For example, if W equals to 3.5 meters, then the saturation flow is 1,885 passenger car units per hour. The actual saturation flow of a particular movement is governed by several factors. First is percentage of right turning vehicle or right turning traffic FR. Second is percentage of left turning traffic FL. Third is turning radius FT. And the fourth is gradient or FG. Therefore, the saturation flow S must be corrected to take account of these effects. First, for the saturation flow for mixed movement lane, S if S dash is given by saturation flow multiplied by FR multiplied by FL multiplied by FG. Whereas for saturation flow for exclusive turning lane, S dash equals to S multiplied by FT multiplied by FG. FR, FL, FT and FG can be obtained from the respective table, tables given as shown in this slide shows the correction factor uh, taken from Arahan Technique Jalan 1387 produced by the Public Works Department of Malaysia. For example, in table 6.2 shows the correction factor for the effect of radian which is Fg. Table 6.3 shows the correction for factor for the effect of turning radius Ft while table uh, 6.4 also shows the uh, correct, uh, correction factors for turning traffic in terms uh, uh, of the percentages. The third element to be considered is the optimum cycle time, CO. CO is given in, uh, in the formula as shown in the slide which is equals to 1.5 multiplied by the total loss time per cycle in seconds or big L plus 5 divided by 1 minus y where y is the demand over the saturation flow ratio. The fourth element to be considered is the timing setting of the traffic control lights. We need to know the actual green period for phase N which is given by the uh, capital G. The effective green period for phase N which is given by the small g and also the controller setting time green period or the displayed green period for phase N given by the uh, letter K or KN and I equals to the loss time due to starting delay usually taken as 2 seconds. Okay, we now uh, start with an example of the traffic light design. In this example, design a traffic signal system for an intersection in which the traffic flow information is shown in table below and the turning action can be neglected. Show the phase diagram and the phase timeline. So for this example, there are two phases, phase 1 and phase 2. 
the direction of movements is shown from north, south, east and west. The flow is given for all uh, the uh, movements and also the saturated flow. The integrin period is different for each phase. For phase 1 is 5 seconds and phase 2 is 6 seconds. The loss time is same L for uh, 2 seconds for both phases. The odd rate is different for each phase. R1 is 2 seconds, R3, uh, R2 is 3 seconds. While amber is the same for the two phases, which is uh, A equals to 3 seconds. First, we start with the calculation of the demand over saturated flow. As shown in the table, phase 1, we start uh, with the north direction. It's just the flow of 1,075 passenger car units per hour divided by the saturated flow of 3,840 passenger car units per hour, giving the ratio as 0.28. The same calculation is done for the south direction and we obtain 0.23 for phase 2 for the east direction we obtain 0.20 for the west direction we obtain 0.36 so we take the largest y value for phase 1 which is 0.28 and for phase 2 which is 0.36 so the Total y is the sum of both y max, which is 0.28 plus, plus 0.36, which equals to 0.64. Next, we calculate the total loss time, which is just the sum of the integrin minus amber time plus the sum of the loss time. Uh, from the slide, we can see that we need to calculate for the two phases. First, for the uh, first phase is 5 minus 3 plus the for the second phase 6 minus 3 plus the lost time which is uh, 2 plus 2 for both phases so the total lost time is determined as 9 seconds next we continue with the calculation of optimum cycle time CO which shall be between 40 seconds and 120 seconds for optimum performance. CO or cycle time is given by the formula 1.5L plus 5 divided by 1 minus Y. We have already calculated the total loss time which is 9 seconds and the sum of the demand over saturation flow Y of 0.64. So we put the values in the formula and we obtain the optimum cycle time of 51.4 seconds which is in between 40 seconds and 120 seconds therefore the cycle time is okay but for simplicity and to make the calculation easier we round out the figure of 51 seconds and multiply by 1.5 to obtain about 60 seconds and we proceed with the calculation based on the optimum cycle time of 60 seconds. Next, we calculate the effective green period for each phase, which is given by the formula small g equals small y minus uh, in brackets the cycle time minus the loss time divided by the uh, big y. So for phase one. Effective green period G is given by 0.28 multiplied by 60 minus 9 divided by 0.64, which is 22.3 uh, sec uh, 22 seconds, which we run out to 22 seconds. Uh, for phase 2, we proceed with similar calculation and we obtain 29 seconds. So after obtaining the effective green period, we calculate now the displayed green period K. Kn of the controller setting time which is given by the effective green period plus the lost time minus the amber. So for phase 1, the effect, uh, displayed green period is 22 seconds plus 2 minus 3 which ought be obtained 21 seconds. For phase 2, we determine as 28 seconds. 
Okay, the last thing, uh, the last uh, thing to be done in the design of a traffic system is to sketch the timing diagram. So we can sketch from our calculations. We have determined what is the uh, uh, g uh, all the timings which we need to know. For example. We know that uh, for phase one, the green uh, time K1 is 21 seconds. We add three seconds for the amber to become 24 seconds. And we add another two seconds for the or date to be for, uh, 26 seconds. For phase two, we know that the green K2 is 28 seconds. So Starting from 26, we add 28, it becomes 44 seconds, 54 seconds. And then we add another 3 seconds for the amber to become 57. And finally, we add the rate time of 3 seconds for the second phase becomes the 60 seconds. This will become one cycle time as calculated, which is 60 seconds.